let's take a look at how we might use some if statements in our custom functions. So now I have a spreadsheet set up and I have uh, my my script editor here. So we can actually try a couple of things to try to try to identify how we might actually use these if statements. So you know one thing that we might do is let's say we had some times here. Let's say we had something like 3 a.m. and say 6 p.m. and let's go ahead and put say 10 p.m. and maybe 11 or we'll say 8 a.m. So now we can actually build an if statement that would identify some kind of appropriate greeting. Uh, you know, so here we could have, and we'll go ahead and wipe all of this out. We'll go ahead and create some documentation here so we can do this properly. And we'll go ahead, we'll say that this, this function will return a proper greeting based on time. And we will say at param, and we're going to pass in based on this a number. And we'll go ahead and call that hour, the hour of day. And we'll say at param string am pm, either am or pm for morning hours, afternoon, and evening hours. And we will say return string a an appropriate greeting. And we'll mark this as a custom function. So we'll declare the function, function greet me. And the first parameter we said would be hour. The second parameter would be AM PM. And now with greet me, we can say if hour, well, we need to think about how we're going to actually structure this. So if we want to just look at the hours, well, we could start off with that, but it might make more sense to look at AM PM first. So if AM PM is equal to AM, else if am pm is equal to pm else and then we want to have a, a different return down here so we'll say return that's not a valid parameter just kind of handle that error let's go ahead and save our project we'll call this if exercises so let's break down am we'll say if hour is less than say 7 a.m. we'll say return it's too early in the morning else if hour is less than 11 we'll return good morning else so if it's not 7 before 7 or before 11 it has to be probably after 11 or equal to 11 so we'll say return get ready for lunch and for p.m. well if it let's say if hour is equal to 12 return lunch time I'm usually hungry I guess that kind of identifies you know here that uh, um, I'm always talking about food else if hour is less than 6 we'll return not quite dinner time else if hour is equal to is equal to 7 or hour is equal to 8 or hour let's say hour is equal to 6 return it's dinner time else if hour is less than 11 return good evening else we'll just return bedtime okay so we have this greet me function we can now apply that here so we'll say greet me and we'll pass in a1 and b1 which will give us too early, 3 a.m. It's either too early or maybe it's too late in the evening. I'm not sure. Uh, 6 p.m., we got dinner time. And then at 10 p.m., we'll get a good evening. And then at 8 a.m., we'll get a good morning. And we could try this for all of the different times of the day. If we go ahead, we can say 1, 2, 
and we'll just select both of those, copy that down until we get to 12. One more. There we go, and we'll do AM, AM. We can just copy that all the way down as well. And then we can use our function, greet me. We'll pass in A7 and B7. You can see we can test lots of different values here. We go too early, good morning, there's our get ready for lunches. And if we do the PMs over here, actually we can just copy all of this. We'll just select all of that, hit Command C, so, and we'll do our PMs over here. Then we can use our same function. In fact, we can just copy it because our parameters will change when we move it. We'll say not quite dinner time, not quite dinner time, dinner time, good evening, bedtime, and lunchtime. So you can see all of our possible values there. And if we change one of these, we'll see that this actually gives us that error response that we had, which was, well, eventually it will give us our error response. That's not a valid parameter. There we go. Sometimes that loading takes a, an extra second or two, but you can see here we've tested that not quite they're not a valid parameter. So you can see how we can kind of identify all or use all of our if statements and our else if and we can evaluate all of these to kind of give different outputs based on our inputs. So if statements should give you actually some flexibility in, in what you do and allow your code to make better decisions. Uh, that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching. In, a, in our next video we'll get more into how we can use if statements and, and perform more complex operations.